Hello, my name is William Pyle. Uh, I'm a second semester freshman at the university level. I'm currently majoring in architecture. This video is going to be an informative video on what analytical drawings are in architecture and why we use them and how to make one for yourself. Uh, a little background on what analytical drawings are. An analytical drawing, uh, they try to merge the approaches of describing the outer configuration of a surface of an object and exploring its inner structural nature and the way its parts are arranged and joined in space. Analytical drawings start with a hole, then onto the subordinates, and then finally the details. So for example, in this video I'm going to be drawing a cylinder and the base shape that I used was my speaker because it is in fact a cylinder. Uh, you'll see how I get the cylindrical shape with construction lines and just the actual process of making an analytical drawing. Okay, so for the analytical drawing, you'll be needing paper, of course. Uh, I like to use blue painter's tape just to hold the paper down. Under this, I it's not mandatory, but of course, just because it is dark where I'm at right now, I have this, I guess it's like a, a light-up tablet. It was like $30 on Amazon. Um, you connect it to the wall and it lights up. You're going to need your pencils. And that should be it. Of course, whatever you are going to be drawing, or if you're going to go off your mental, um, have that in mind. I'm just going to be going off a cylindrical shape right now. So the first thing that you want to get is the perspective. You want the perspective that you desire to draw in. So for me, I guess you could say that I'm drawing uh, at an angled perspective. Of course, if it's a, a cylinder, it looks the same on every angle, but the box or construction lines that I'm going to be using is at an angle. So I will start off with the square that I want. So my desired square would be something like that. I'll have the lines come down. Now this is part of the freehand section of architecture, so don't worry if your lines aren't the straightest because this is freehand at the end of the day. So you start at the top right. We're going to find our circle. Gonna wanna match it at the bottom. Find your shape. Now, don't worry about the multiple lines. Uh, the more perfect that you want it, you just go over it in tracing paper. Um, that's what I usually do whenever I'm sketching something. I'll use multiple lines until I find the layer that I want, my desired layer. So I'll match the, the shape down so I can get that round shape going. So to give it a bit more dimension, a bit more depth, we make another square coming in. And we'll go ahead and add another ellipse in here. So you can see that the shape is starting to come out. We have our cylinder shape, analytical drawing. Now, if you wanted to use it a bit more practical in architecture, of course, that'd be depending on how you're designing it. Um, I know that I used it to design a dome shape one time. So just a quick sketch just to show you how that would go. I guess actually I should start off with, uh, with the square, keep it traditional. Same thing. And from there, you just start designing. Uh, usually, you do use a cube shape to do your analytical drawings because a cube is a safe volume to design within. Um, we do live in a modern rectangular world, so you know most modern buildings will have this rectangular shape about them. Of course, if you do desire to design more round architecture, 
you can also do that. Uh, that comes with the idea of negative space. You see, because at its core, everything really is a cube. And you subtract to, or you subtract and add to that cube as you desire. Of course. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you.